This is a Mini Sumo Robot. There are two limitations when you are building your Mini Sumo Robot. The first one is the size of the robot. It should be uh, under 10 times 10 centimeters. The height is unlimited. The second is weight. It should weigh less than 500 grams. Next thing is the uh, fighting arena or the ring, how we call it. The base is black and there is a white line on the side. The white line is detected by the robot and this is the way how he knows uh, that he is at the edge of the ring. If he falls out, uh, this is a lost game for the robot. Next thing, there are two uh, lighter lines and these lines are used for the robots uh, and the judge in the competitions to place the robots on the sumo ring. Uh, the player must imagine two lines uh, uh, perpendicular from this line and this is the area where the robot must be put. There are two different ways uh, seen in the competitions. First one is that you can use all of this area. The second is that you can use area only touching the white line. For example, the judge gives command 1, 2, 3 and you place your robot like this. Everything is good, you are in the area, the robot is touching the white line. Basic strategies of competition. Uh, for example, we have placed our robots in the beginning of the uh, round like this. There are several ways how we could carry on how I could carry on and how my opponent could carry on. The most uh, basic uh, uh, strategy is going straight. So let's see what happens if we go straight. So maybe the programmer has changed the speed as well. So this robot went slower, went less distance and it, this could have gone uh, different ways. For example, I could have gone to the right. So the beta opponent still goes straight. So let's see what goes on. Like I go from the back and still in the round. Another point for me. If the opponent would turn, like I turn, the opponent turns, and okay, this time I lose. Go. 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 Depending on the strategies, depending on the placement of the robot, very often this means winning or losing. A strategies you should program before the competition and if possible you can watch other games and you would advise is to see what your opponent is doing on the ring, how he is placing the robot, uh, how it moves, is it fast, is it slow. This, everything, every little detail changes uh, your strategy and the game actually.